coming to me now. Oh, he's coming to me. Maybe he's coming to me. Oh, he's coming oh, to you. Oh, that's got some weight. Yeah? Oh, oh, this is big, Terrell. Jimmy's got something Get good. Get the, Get the net. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today, we're going to start this video with a little challenge. It's called the Four Grateful Things Challenge. So I want you to close your eyes with me and state four things that you're grateful for. Okay, I'm going to start first. One is my kids are beautiful and healthy. I got a beautiful wife. I do what I want for a living. And I'm with a beloved friend. And a beloved new friend and they're taking me in to their world of catch and cook coding done and uh, i'm going to show you my beloved guests that i'm grateful for i'm grateful for jimmy s jimmy seahawk what's going on welcome there, to the bro. channel like subscribe smash it <laughs> smash that button wow we're gonna go uh my grateful energy is carrying over it's good things are good <laughs> positive mental attitude just we're happy we just met uh josh mcfadden who's definitely filled the void on uh what was that series called uh 25 30, inches 37 inches game of thrones i got a gift for you inches. i got a gift for you new catch Cook merch. I've got five things. I'm grateful for my catch and cook merch. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be part of this. Thank you, Jimmy. I love you. You're welcome. Love you too. I don't know if I love you yet, but I, so far I think I do. Love. Let's go. I don't know what I'm thinking, but yeah, I do feel better. Spices make love better. <laughs> That's so factory, bro. This is big time, Jimmy. This is big time. <laughs> We're in the big leagues. We're going in. That's good news. Lord Buddha in the Catch and Cook Factory. Like a laboratory, you yeah. call it? Excel. Laboratory. All of our bins are wonder. I didn't get my PhD yet, but I'm close. Sarah's actually uh, the most educated of everyone you know. Oh, those pants. <laughs> Leather. I like yeah, it. Those are nice. <laughs> what are we here for? We're it's finding nice where the nice. perch powder is made. They actually have perch that they grind up into the powder. Okay, good. That's how perch powder is made. This is such a blessing, guys. This is the first time I've been allowed in the perch powder factory. Yeah, I've been trying to get in here for four years. There's Mr. Horton. And we're finally here. This guy looks like Colonel Sanders but it's actually Grandpa Horton who started all this. Without Grandpa Horton, we wouldn't be here today. Salt. And we wouldn't have a girl in other pants either. <laughs> Josh. Nice to meet Pleasure. you. Yeah, good to meet you. This is like the Gracie family of perch powder. <laughs> this gets passed on and passed on. And it gets better and better with time. That's like a Colonel Sanders style <laughs> shot, you know? Oh yeah. So those are the first and the only. So. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what they're telling us right now is like there's some machinery, they have secrets that they do not want to share. So you may not see some machinery, but you might see some powders. Yeah, Jimmy? Some perch powder. Yeah. But I just want to get free stuff, that's why I'm here. I don't know. <laughs> can, I, can I call you Princess Victoria? Queen, queen. <laughs> okay, so when you come in the factory, we got a wash up here. But uh, that's legit, man. Health and food inspection? Check. You're just bagging up perch powder like crazy. Perch powder, perch powder. Let's go. We're running out of beer batter bags. Weird. You like how I say weird? Part of the I'm really a part of this now. Yeah. Part of the brand. Right, Jimmy? Just say yeah. Exactly. exactly. I don't need packaging, Jimmy. Just give me the barrel. Bling. Bling. Jimmy's rich. Can I smell that again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh man, that's so good. This is the Spice Girls, the original Spice what? Girls. I got it. Victoria, are you the original like posh Spice? <laughs> Were you before Spice Girls? They have all kinds of spices in these drums. Their that's grandfather, their great grandfather. Pants. I've been like traveling the world looking for different spices that's going into Jimmy's perch powder. Lots of work goes into this. Jimmy don't play. Josh, what are we doing here? We're just sniffing some spice. The good stuff. Man. Look, Look at the color, color on that. This smells nuts. Smoked paprika. 10 on 10. Yeah, we do. 50 we on 10. Dog, the spice hunter. He has a nose for spice. Yes, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's good. You like that? <laughs> he who controls the spice controls the universe. What movie? I don't know. Dune, bro. I don't, I don't watch out. movies, man. You know what? Forget he who yeah. controls the spice. Man. She who controls the spice controls the universe. <laughs> I'm gonna take like two of those crates. Jimmy, I'm taking a couple of boxes now, right? Nope. Yeah, nope. I'm taking them. That's why I came. But I need boxes. I need this product, bro. Okay, we'll take that crate. Where's the uh, beer crates? Well, my scientific yeah. research is done and I'm handing in my lab coat. There you go. Thank you, sir. According to my research, this place is phenomenal and I believe in Jimmy's product more than ever. Let's go fishing. That's all I'm gonna get some perch. He's a perch powder. Cook them. We'll throw that in here. Kick it! Yeah, so we're leaving the perch powder factory. We met the Spice Girls. We met the lovely Spice Girls. They were so Thanks helpful again. and so great. Now it's time to fish. If we can't catch, we can't cook. So we gotta catch now. Why <laughs> Spice? Oh man, she is the princess of perch. Lovely, lovely person. Jimmy just finds gold. That was legit, Jimmy. Jimmy don't play this, eh? 
So good. We're the Spice King. I just appreciate that it's a family business. They were so great. We didn't get to meet Dog the Spice Hunter. No, Dog the Spice Hunter we're going to come back for. He who controls the spice controls the universe. Six months later, nose hair is longer than ever. However, I stay Gucci down to my socks and I'm back with Jimmy. He's been busy with babies, perch powders, traveling around the world. He's been head bangering everywhere. Harrow has this problem. He stockpiles the content and he doesn't post it. I've been giving Tons. him grief. He's got videos I got and videos, videos and for videos days. In the if you are looking for an internship, you want to learn how to video edit, you're hiring. Intern. Who's going to be teaching who? Harrow needs an editor. You're going to become a master editor you're gonna have to cut some corners because the footage i'm gonna give you is a bunch of garbage <laughs> and we're at what's this resort called saint chef fleche saint chef fleche comment ça va ça va bien comment t'appelles tu and this is our cabin it still works this is massive Harry, you can either sleep on the floor with me yeah or another bed there's room in the bed. i got an air mattress bro well, we japanese people are used to sleeping on the floor oh my gosh. i swear when i go there everyone's on the floor <laughs> I do need some fish to eat because I want to do a catch and cook and we got like 85 million boxes of perch powder and I haven't touched them. Taro almost got us in trouble. He almost got kicked out of the factory. But uh, yeah, I made it. I didn't get kicked out and I have a lot of powder and I got to use it. So that's my video. Jimmy, I don't know what the heck he's doing. He's got musky stuff. I don't know what. I'm confused, but mine's a really simple plan. Catch a fish and cook it. Can we catch fish on this new body of water? Stay tuned. Let's get some humps, bro. Jimmy's got one in the crevasse. He's working. Jimmy, work that drop shot in the crevasse. It's right on me, dude. Come on, dude. What? I got him. You got him. <laughs> yeah, right. Is it a walleye? Oh, oh good. That's amazing. We got it. We got it. We're literally fishing for 25 minutes, 30 minutes. It is 40 to 45 centimeters. It must be in that gap. Nope. Too small? We're not eating. Crap. So yeah, we're out of the slot, but we got a fish. When you get a jig too big for a small minnow, perfect way to rig it is through the mouth, out the gill. Oh, it's still kicking. Should be good. Turn it, rig it through the side. Beautiful. If the minnow's too big, you won't have that hook gap. But here we got a nice hook gap. Everything's lovely. I'm going to catch a fish. I'm getting a little nicks. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Is he biting you? Mm. Nice. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> this is the epitome of a dart. Watch this. That is like the most perfect dart you might find. You know, not too skinny, not too chunky, not too long. Lunch. When I think of dart, that is it. That is the most perfect specimen of a dart. Bye dart, bye dart. So long dart. Oh, there they are, dude. Nice Look at this. Look, these ones under us right now. Three of them. It's That's coming. a big fish. Oh, there's nice That's ones. A big fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Come on. He came back. Got him. Fish. Going, yep. Yeah. Drop shot. They like drop shot and minnows, drop shot and leeches. He's put on so many fish. Oh boy, Jimmy. Yeah, I know. Jimmy, my guy, comes through. <laughs> yes, Jimmy. Chunky. Oh, these are like the perfect size, bro. Oh, I can taste it already. So chunky. It's not too big, but juicy, eh? Just a perfect size. Just a perfect size. I'll get him. Jimmy's on. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Lake Nipissing Walleye. And I'm with Jim, my guide. We're eating fish tonight. Yes, we're eating fish. Catch and cook, Jim. Pickerel powder. In terms of rod selection, I like a rod that doubles up that they could use for a light jig with minnow or light drop shot rigs. Personally, I like anything from a medium light to a medium extra fast drop shot style of rod, anywhere from six foot 10 to about seven foot two. I like a little backbone, but I like a gummy tip. A gummy tip will allow the fish to hold on a little bit longer, I think. They just don't feel you as much. I think it helps increase your hookups and it softens your presentation a bit. It's more natural, less negative cues in conditions like this. With the soft rod actions that I like, you can get away with using really thin wire hooks. I'm using an Aaron Martin's Gamakatsu Finesse drop shot hook, number one and number two sizes, perfect for you using small minnows and light bites. It doesn't overpower the bait. It lets the bait do its thing on days like this. Oh, oh, just skimmed you. He skimmed you, bro. Did you feel him skimming? Oh. Yeah. Did he hit you? Oh, he just chowed me. 
Let's see if I can get him. Oh no. Got him. Nice. You got the one I missed. Oh! Whoa, la. That's what the Texans call him. <laughs> I was just with the budget Texans. They call him, whoa, la. Look at the rod. Hit him. Hit him. Look at the rod pinch. Yeah. Ooh. You see that? That was nice. You did good. It's a smallmouth. Smallmouth. Oh, he's fighting. He's fighting. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice little bonus. Bye, Bass. So we have one really good hump. Jimmy wants to run around these humps because we came far away. So, okay, work some new humps. Maybe stop at that good hump at the end. Memories oh. for a lifetime. Jimmy's tired. Jimmy's tired of being a guide. I'm always tired. Crank Jimmy now. Oh, he's coming to me. Maybe he's coming to me. Oh, he's coming oh, to you. Oh, that's got some weight. Yeah? Oh. Oh, this is big, Terrell. Jimmy's got something Get good. Get the, Get the net. <laughs> this is a netter? Was that on a worm? No, this was on the net on the indestructible bug. Indestructible bug. Oh, this is big. Oh. Where is he? Where is he? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jimmy just got a drum, drum roll, please. Okay, well. Cool. Another one on the list that we didn't plan for on this trip. That's funny. Mission accomplished. We got perfect Five. eating walleye. Jimmy's gonna cook them perfect, not burnt. My style, always burnt. Jimmy's gonna do it this right. You gotta teach me how to cook this proper. Catch and cook by Big Boss. We're back on the line. Camarada is chewing on Oreos. We're doing the basic fish fry. We're not doing anything fancy. The proper way. First off, we need some canola oil. Get a big jug. Some oils burn at a certain temperature. So I'm pouring some in, I'm cranking the heat. I'm looking to hit around 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. I want it to cook at like 375, but it'll warm up to 400 once I put the fish in. Then that oil will cool down a bit. I don't have a thermometer along today, so I'm gonna coat the fish, and then I'll probably just like dip them in every once in a while and see how it sizzles. Once you get that right sound, you know it's time. You gotta freestyle Freddy sometimes. To me, spicy is the only way to go. The crunchiest fish you've ever seen. I'm gonna show you the secret to get the crunchiest fish, okay? The crunchiest <laughs> fish you've ever seen, Jimmy claims. So far he said we're gonna catch fish, and we. We did. So a lot of people mm -hmm. use milk. Totally just use water for this. Okay, check this out. A little bit of water in this one. Gotta give it the sniff test. It smells good. Oh! He who controls the spice controls the universe. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the catch and cook. Give it a coating. Pat it down. You wanna make sure it's wet before. You can use milk or egg. This is the important part. I'm gonna put it in the water. You lose some of it, but see how it kind of gets gooey? Yeah. And I'm gonna hit it back in, and that's how you get it super crunchy. You could do that three, four times. If you wanted to make the crunchiest fish batter on earth, you do that like 18 times. So yeah. it's like a thick coating, and then it will get so crunchy. But that second coat you can see now, it kind of leaves some big chunky bits there. When that deep fries, that'll turn into that serious crunch. Ooh, I like that. And it'll be spicier because you got kind of double the batter. Oh, I like spicier. Crunchier, spicier, and I'm gonna get fatter. So you like the double dip kind of thing? That's yeah. the best way to go? I like the double dip. I've tried eight. You it's too many. You never seen the vid, bro? No, that sounds familiar. Sure? Jimmy does not Was watch that the my fish? fish. I don't know which one. You don't even I didn't know which watch video. It. Jimmy, you live in a vid. Why would you want to watch any more? My life is a video. Yeah, you're just living constant content. That's key, he says. So hot, so it doesn't get all soggy and yucky. But doesn't it burn if it's too hot? It could, yeah. If it's hot, it gets crispy on the outside and kind of moist on the end. That's nice, right? Yeah. Gosh. Too hot. That is too hot. That's too hot to handle. Jimmy said hot, but not that hot, Jimmy. Do we have a fire extinguisher? That's a trick, so if it feels like it's too it's hot, like your house is gonna explode, add some more oil. Sorry, it's gonna suck for your audio. People are used to bad audio on my channel, Jimmy. <laughs> Good hot? Whoa! That's too hot. That is the hottest oil I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Jimmy screwed up. That was bad. <laughs> Way too hot. I do better than this, Jimmy. <laughs> There's like piles of burnt crap here. <laughs> Stuff's coming off the hinges when Jimmy starts cooking. Oh, oh yeah, Jimmy, you've done it now. <laughs> oh man, Jimmy. It's supposed to be perfect when you do it. Mr. Perfect. Paintings are falling off the wall. The alarm is going off. Place is like a smoke factory. Pets' heads are falling off. And if you want to smoke your whitefish and nitro, we're in the right house. You know what we call that? that that's a dial-in piece. You had to sacrifice a fillet just to get it right. That's a blackened catfish? I like that. I don't remember catching the catfish, but I'll eat it. I'll try it. <laughs> I'm going for Jimmy's Cajun Extra Burnt. Cook really good. The inside's probably fine. Really crispy. <laughs> I'll say this, Jimmy. When you burn something, it tastes better than when I burn something. <laughs> Ain't too much pressure from this guy. They're good, though. 
Voila! It is special, it's better. This is how it's supposed to look. Round two. You fixed it. That was a testing piece. Still tasty good. Look how crunchy that is. Mine's never looked this good. Look at those bits of crunch. I think the double is the way to go. I like the double. That's why I said do it your way. That looks perfect. Thank you. Better than Popeyes. First day. Ow! So hot! <laughs> Ouch! You know what? That wasn't smart. You gotta wait a second. Mmm, I'm not that spicy. This is the way, the double dip. You didn't know how to cook, man. Oh, really crispy. Perfect. Another winner.